Oh, hi, hello, villagers. Welcome back to the village. If you are new, hello. Welcome. I'm Kai. And today, we are going to be talking about all the new Super Souls that we are getting, or got, with this new DLC, 13 Legendary Pack 2. But before we get started, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Help us get to that 500 sub goal before the end of the year. Thank you for all the support, guys. We are over halfway to our goal, so let's get there, guys. But with that, let's get into the video. First Super Soul that we are going to talk about is I Will Prevail No matter the Cost from uh, Jiren Full Powers. So this Super Soul I'm actually a fan of. I like how it works. So basically boost all strength of all or boost the strength of all attacks large. When you have less key remaining than the opponent, activates key auto recovery mode. So basically you're either always going to be working to have more key than your opponent or you're going to be boosting all the uh, all attacks large. So I actually do, I, I don't, I don't think it's terribly great. <laughs> I don't think it's bad. I think it can work. And there are definitely a lot of smart people playing Xenoverse that can make a really good build with this Super Soul. So I think this Super Soul is actually pretty good. Um, we have a couple of others that I'm not that big of fans of that we'll talk about in a second. But just starting with Jiren Super Soul, I think it's, I think it's worth getting. I, I, I think it's pretty good. But um, moving forward. We have the Super Soul. Our two strengths aren't just added together. So yes, our two strengths aren't just added together. This here is probably my favorite Super Soul out of the bunch. And maybe second favorite, but we'll get there in a second. So activates key auto recovery mode, boosts stamina recovery speed. That's it, small, that's it, that's it, that's it. But I think this is, and I've tested this a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on it, but I've been using blue a lot more lately because I think this DLC is buffing blue a lot because of the super souls we're getting. I think it's really trying to cater to blues needs while we also have God here. So I think that it's really cool that they're making super souls that'll work for personally one like mm, it's probably second favorite Awoken in the game now with God here because the blue is really fun to use. We talked about it in the last video um, or one of the last videos we did. Uh, check that out. Um, we talked about Super Saiyan God, me and Leonidas. But blue, you know, something he said that it felt kind of clunky. I don't know if that was the right thing to say. I think it, it just, it feels like it can be so much better, you know? And things like this, making it to where we have some little support with auto key recovery to counteract the key drain, I think that's really good. And it's an always, it's always a buff. So that's another really good part about that. And then the stamina speed recovery, that just, you get stamina so fast in blue now. Like, it's not like a crazy buff, but it's just, it's, I timed it, it was significantly faster. So I, I do appreciate them adding some more stuff to help out blue because it, it, it does need the help, it really does. Um, but moving forward, all right. So yeah, we have, it's just me and you now. This is Khalifla Super Saiyajin 2, uh, two Super Soul and, um, I mean, I don't think it's anything crazy, honestly. Temporarily boosts all abilities large. Temporarily removes ability to lock off and on and off. I, I mean, so temporarily, I think it's about a minute or a minute long of having that all abilities large and removing the ability to lock off and on and off. That's not really that big of a deal in PvP. PvE, um, like when it comes to parallel quests or you're fighting multiple enemies, uh, I wouldn't really use it ever. <laughs> but it's not a bad Super Soul. I don't think it's bad at all. It's just, I think we've seen a lot better. I think the Gogeta one and the Jiren one are both better than this one. Um, but yeah, so I don't really have too much to say about it. I don't think it's a bad Super Soul. I just think it could have been a lot better. But that's how it is with a lot of these Super Souls, honestly. Um, the Khalifa one, for me at least, was a little underwhelming. And then I think the Kale one that we're about to talk about next just... I just don't like it at all. It, it's, it seems, well, it doesn't even deserve the five star to, in my opinion, but I'm sure there are going to be people out there that can make it work. So if you guys have any builds or suggestions on how to make any of these super souls work, let us know in the comment section below. Cause I I'm down to hear anything. Um, but yeah, so I guess moving forward from this a little bit lackluster super soul, we're going to go to the, my back's getting tingly super soul. All right. So yes, my back's getting tingly from kale super saiyan two or super saiyajin two. So, her super soul here, so, okay, let's just read it. Temporarily boosts all, the, uh, or temporarily boosts the strength of all attacks, small. When using charge skills, activates key auto recovery mode. Um, I, I don't know, like, I have to test this super soul out more, but it just, it doesn't seem really that crazy. Uh, I don't, I don't really ever like the small boosts 
too much when it comes to strength you know i'd prefer if it was like a medium or a large at least or so i don't know like I, maybe i'm misunderstanding how the super soul is supposed to work because that's completely possible you know i'm human um but it just for i tested it out a little bit online and i went into training just to see like how long the key recovery lasts or whatever and it, i just don't like it that much i thought it could be pretty cool with like a burst charge and using that or something like that but it just I, I don't know it just doesn't work out for me at least in my play style but again same thing as i said earlier i think that people can make things work and figure something out with this super soul that could be crazy but for me what i've noticed i just i don't think it's up to par to other five stars like i think every other super soul we've talked so about so far i think is probably better um yeah so i think that's pretty much all i had to say about this one i'm just not the biggest fan Honestly, when it comes, this might be another video, honestly, but when it comes to Kale and just everything she's brought to this game so far, I'm a little disappointed. Not gonna lie. I love Kale. I love that she's in the game. I'm so happy that she's in the game. We made a video like what, like a month or two or a month probably before she was even announced talking about maybe she'll come to the game, what we thought. And I, you know, I said that I, you know, I like Kale and I really would want her to be game. I'm pretty sure I said that I'd rather her have her Super Saiyan 2 form than Berserk. But I was really confident we were getting her, we were getting Berserk. But I'm happy we got Super Saiyan 2 instead, honestly. <laughs> but it's just, I wish they did a little bit of better job with her. Her Super Soul, her attacks, and everything. But um, and enough with my disappointment in Kale. Let's just kind of move on to this next Super Soul from Lord Frieza. Okay, guys, so I just realized I said Lord Frieza Sama when Frieza Sama is Lord Frieza. <laughs> anyway, uh, Frieza Sama, his new Super Soul gives it. So it's when the battle begins, boost the strength of all attacks small. A bit of time after the battle starts, boost the strength of all attacks large. So with this one, you're basically always getting buffed in some degree. I, I don't know actually how much the time is. I just got this Super Soul like literally before recording. So I, I have to see how long the time is before you get the large buff. I think it's probably like a minute. I'm not sure though, so I don't want to like say it's a minute. Uh, I'll put it in the pinned comment how long it actually is. But yeah, so if it's it, depending on how long it is, I, I think it's just generally, an, I think it's an okay Super Soul. I think it's not bad. I think it could be good for PQs that's mostly it i don't think people are gonna be using this too much online because i think there's better again yeah i just think there's better but i think this could be real decent for online pqs or just offline pqs maybe some raids you could try it out but honestly when it comes to parallel quests i think the better way to go about it instead of just boosting your stuff I, i'd rather just gain key so you can spam super attacks i think that's what i do mostly you know <laughs> but everyone likes to play differently and i know some people play this game and they don't ever play any like online pvp they only do parallel quests so maybe you want to try to change things up or whatever and this super soul might be a good way to do that um but yeah so this super soul i don't think is that great i don't think it's that bad i think it's kind of just neutral meh but we got a, a new super soul we're going to talk about next that i'm actually really excited about so let's just move on to that all right guys so this super saiyan super saiyan super soul from vegeta is really awesome in my opinion so a bit of time after the battle starts boost the strength of all attacks m boost movement speed l activates key auto recovery mode this super soul seems so amazing guys i am so hyped for this and the reason why is because a bit of time so that's about um 30 seconds so that should be about 30 seconds. I'll play around with it and I might make a video on this Super Soul in particular. But depending on how long the time is between that, this is really good for Blue. <laughs> really, really, really good for Blue with that auto key recovery. That's like, that's a big part of it. We really need that for Blue. Now, I, I do think that this is going to be very useful. Um, I think the boost to strength is a nice plus. I think the movement speed is a nice plus, but the key auto recovery mode is what I'm looking at the most. And depending on how long it takes, this could be really good for blue because we're not going to go blue frame one. You're going to like take your time with it. So if it's still, you know, like 30 seconds into the battle, then you go blue. Like that's like, I think that's kind of like the norm. So I think this is really, this DLC, I think is really promoting to use blue, not just God. And when it comes to evolution, evolution's a little bit harder to deal with just because um the auto the key drain is more. But I've been using the R2 strengths um Super Soul, and I think that it still helps with evolution too. I was using evolution just mine on mine. So I think we're finally getting some more buffs that blue and evolution really did need. This here is probably the fav my favorite Super Soul coming to this DLC, honestly. Um it's either this one or the Gogeta one, but they're both really fun and really cool, I think. But yeah. 
thankfully we are getting some buffs for blue again y'all can tell i love blue i'm so i was so happy when they added it i'm happy that we have it in the game but it was a little annoying the key drain because the xenoverse one days y'all who played xenoverse one y'all understand key drain sucks <laughs> key drain sucks but moving on all right so fuse super soul i'm gonna do what i want to do all right once only when an ally gets ko'd temporarily prevents allies from reviving temporarily boosts all abilities l uh, i don't like this at all i don't like this at all if you're doing a raid if you're doing a parallel class if you're doing whatever unless you're offline i guess but having the to where you can't revive your uh, of allies that that's just bad like that's bad i feel like it's always going to be smarter to have p more people with you especially online but offline probably too so it's like i i just i don't know i don't like it <laughs> that's basically it i don't like it i don't like the ones that have a contingency based on your allies oh ally dies you get the buff but okay so i don't like that to begin with but then the fact that your ally can't even come back for a temporary time obviously but still can't come back for a period of time that's that's not good xenoverse why why do you do this why <laughs> i mean you could probably make use of this somewhere but like no i'm not using this ever i don't know if y'all should either but um let's, let's talk about the next super soul okay so we just talked about the son, let's talk about the father, Mira. Mira's super soul, once only when an ally gets KO'd, restores your health in proportion to the ally's max health. Now, I, I, I just finished, I just went on a rant for a second about how I don't like ally contingencies. I don't like this one either. <laughs> Allies getting KO'd, I don't like that as a, okay, your friend dies, you get a buff. And then, but at least this one is still, I think it's better. I think this one's better just because it doesn't make it so your ally can't get back up. But I still do think this is not that great. I mean, things based on your allies getting killed. I feel like, in my experience at least, when it comes to parallel quests, my allies don't really die. You know? Like, they, that doesn't happen. And so, and then items are also a thing, so it's like, this is kind of pointless. Why do you use this, wait for someone to die, when they can use a sensu and you can use like an all energy or something? Like, it just doesn't make sense to ever use this. So, th this, like, honestly, this is just a waste of space because why would you do this when you can have something like right then let's begin the experiment where you can be getting key consistently and on um, a buff to your key bus supers like you should like there's no reason to really ever use this sorry mira but yeah there's no reason um but yeah let's get to the next one all right we are at the home stretch guys and i did want to mention real quick that um the latter ones that we've been talking about like the last four are um free while some of these are paid, I just wanted to clarify real quick. The ones from the um, beginning that we were talking about, so Jiren, Khalifa, Gogeta, and Kale Super Souls were all paid, and then the rest of them are free that we're gonna be getting mostly from raids. I just wanted to make that clear real quick. But here we go. This is a really controversial Super Soul. I'm not, I don't wanna say controversial, but uh, basically we made a video about this yesterday. This Super Soul does not work how people believe it does. Um, or at least we, that's what we see because me and Leonidas both did a lot of testing with this one and it didn't really affect the rates. And we also did, thanks to Demon Boy on Twitter, he did a lot of testing as well and then found in the game's code that it doesn't seem to actually affect anything but costumes and clothing. So it, this doesn't work out because it literally says, okay, when the battle ends, boost the chances of getting a costume. That is what it does. That's all it does. Could be wrong, I guess. I, I could be wrong because Dimps messes up a lot. <laughs> I mess up a lot. Um, <laughs> not in this channel though. This channel never mess up. I'm a I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> no, but um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. But yeah, guys. So this doesn't work. Like it, you get moves because it it would have probably said that. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. So this super soul, in my opinion, it, it, it's not really anything crazy. If you're trying to get a costume, put it on. You know, try to get that ribbery in fit, you know, go put this on and try to get the um, costume. But let's just move on to the next one real quick. All right, guys. So this is the last one I'm going to be talking about today for the DLC 13 Legendary Pack 2 Super Souls. But here we go. 
um, Hercules Super Soul, it must be some kind of trick. Now, I can't do Hercules voice, unfortunately. I can't do no voices. I'm not good at voices, but I really wanted to try. Um, but Hercules Super Soul, it must be some kind of trick. Occasionally, when hit by a key blast attack, temporarily nullifies damage from all attacks. Now, this one actually seems pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, Hercule coming out here with a really interesting Super Soul. I I'd love to try this out a little bit because it it's occasionally, so I don't know like what the actual percentages are. If it's like, if it's like 50%, I feel like that's still not even bad. Just like temporarily nullifies. How long is it being nullified for? I have a lot of questions about this one because this one seems really cool <laughs> and really funny. You know, I because I, Hercule, you know, um, he was saying that it's just like a, a, a light show and all this, trying to make up excuses for the big ass beams and shit. So this is pretty cool in my opinion. I think this is pretty fitting for Hercule to have. I think this is really funny. So I'd like to see more about this. So maybe we'll make a video on this Super Soul just because I think it'd be a funny video to make. But yeah, guys, I think for the most part, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. If you do have any questions or just want to have a conversation with me or Leonidas, um, start with the comment section below because we always try to answer as soon as we can. You know, life happens, so we might not be able to answer immediately. But we love talking with y'all and we love having this community building up. You know, we have our villagers coming in slowly. But um, no, yeah, have been having a lot of fun with the YouTube grind. Uh, we're going to keep it up, the daily uploads, for as long as we can. But with that, though, guys, I'm Kai. Peace.